Well, good morning, everybody. This is Jeremy Williams representing Garden City Ammonia Program and GCAP's online training division, GCAPCoolCast.com. Uh, today, I want to bring you another uh, online R717 video tip of the day. And uh, had a great week here this last week. We had uh, seven guys here from Tennessee and uh, taking our Ammonia Technician 1 class. It was a phenomenal success, and we had a 7 for 7 pass rate and uh, a great opportunity. Had a lot of fun out here in our front engine room and got to use a lot of the new equipment, new panels, new pumps, new compressors, and uh, just had a heck of time. We fired up the CO2 system, and uh, it was a really, really good time. Tell you what, today we got a small leak in the engine room, and I'm uh, going to show you some ways today to find a leak with ammonia, specifically where it's at, with outside of traditional techniques such as the sulfur stick, uh, but before we go see where that leak may be and how bad it may be, I uh, just want to kind of give a big shout out. We've had a half a dozen companies call us today, or not today, this week, but one of them was today, and uh, they have released their travel bands for training. Uh, so big shout out to Tyson, Rich Products, and everybody else. Uh, we're so looking forward to the guys coming down next week and uh, in the next couple weeks in the classes you guys got enrolled. So for all you companies that are lifting the travel bands, and allowing training back into place, uh, that's great. Uh, we have two teams next week going on the road. One's going to Ohio, one's going to Florida. We've got some classes on site and staying busy in the auditing world. So for anybody that needs that, we'll come to any plant across the country, five people or less, or around five people or more, said that wrong, and uh, provide you whatever specific training that you would need for your company. We're here to try to meet your needs. The hotel is live, and we're booking it out. And uh, next week, we've had a couple phone calls for the ones that haven't been made aware, so I'm going to try to do my best on this. The National Ammonia Safety Day, NASD, uh, NASD, National Ammonia Safety Day, next week, Kansas City, Kansas, was canceled uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, unfortunately, the venue that hosts it for us is not open at this point and doesn't plan to open till the fall. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is just putting all of our energy and resources to putting the National Ammonia Safety Day in 2021 at this time. Um, we had over 500 registered attendees, and for you guys that were registered, uh, we'll just transfer the registration to 221. If you want your money back, just call the office. We'll make it happen as well. And uh, for all the vendors and support, we, we truly appreciate that. Uh, so looking forward to the safety day. Just don't forget, though, next week is a very, very important week. It's July 17th. That is 717, and it's National Ammonia Operator Day. So make sure that you get a chance to... Take a day off. Do it, man. Uh, go fishing. Hang out with your kids. Take your wife on a date or your husband on a date, whatever it may be. But uh, take one on yourself and uh, enjoy the day. National Ammonia Safety Day 717. So let's see if we can't find a leak. i uh, got the camera here now pointing towards System C. And what we have here is on my little control panel. Uh, and then we have over here off the motor. I got my soap and water. All this stuff's not for the purposes. And then I went into my office and got me some uh, ammonia test paper. Sometimes we call it pH paper. Some people call it litmus paper. This one is provided by McNeil. So McNeil, big shout out to you guys and thank you for the test paper. And here's some instructions on that if you guys are wanting an idea of what that is. But what I'm gonna do is get this litmus paper here and I'm gonna rip me some of it off get it out of the, the document so I just got some here and there's several strips here that are perforated and I'll have the ability to uh, take a few sample strips by themselves what I've got to do is get some of this paper off and um, I got to get some water and that's what I don't have right now so I'm gonna walk over and get a little bit of water and get this test paper wet so give me just a second here. I forgot about this and sorry, but I'm gonna jump real quick here into the sink. Put some water on the test paper and get it nice and wet. One time we found a safety data sheet on some of this litmus paper and it says if you suck on it quite long enough, it'll give you diarrhea. So some of the old school guys will be out there trying to use this and they'll be just keep putting it in their mouth, getting it wet, getting it wet, getting it wet. And I guess unless you're stopped up, that's probably not the opportunity that you want. But now this litmus paper is wet and I have all these strips together and I know that the leak is coming somewhere around from this pumper drum. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start putting this litmus paper above certain things that have the possibility of having a leak because you've got to remember that ammonia gas is going to do what? Um, it's going to rise if it's in gas form 
And this litmus paper, I'm looking to see if it will change color on us based upon it having a reaction with the ammonia that may be present or the ammonia gas that could be coming off of this. As I come down and come around, right there, I don't know if that camera is showing this, but instantly when I hit that union, look how pink that is. And look where my hand is, is that it's white. Flip it around, boom, right there, instantaneously found the leak. So I believe it's coming from the bottom side of that union. Um, as that litmus paper starts to dry out again, it'll become white. Um, but I'm going to take my soap and water. This unit right here looks like we're about 130 PSI. Looking on the bottom side of this union, let's see what happens here. If I can get anything to really get going. Not getting a lot of movement at all whatsoever. But uh, definitely we have a little bit of a leak there that we'll have to work on and try to evacuate the drum and tighten the union a little bit. But I hope that works for you guys. I hope everybody has a good weekend. And uh, look forward to celebrating National Ammonia Day next week, 717. And uh, look forward to all you guys coming back to Garden City, Kansas, or meeting you at your facilities. Until we get to see each other again, keep it in the pipes.